Welcome to my apartment circa 1950, complete with a classic dinette set and even a bowl of plastic fruit. Just a minute. Let me bring you into the 90s. This is a 50s redux. We're recreating a classic 50s meal. And it's so appropriate considering this table setting. Look at this old table with a classic red top. It's a real hard and sturdy arborite. But it's these chairs with these nifty bolts here and also this flower pattern. It's antique and it's classic. Look what happens though when I place down these yellow placemats. Things are starting to look pretty good for dinner. I'm gonna lose the bowl of fruit and continue setting the table. This china pattern is perfect for our 50s table. It's by a company called the Royal China Company, and I especially like this gray patterned design on the plates because it matches the chairs. Now, believe me, if you only have a solid colored plate or china service at home, use it. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune on a whole new china pattern just to do a themed dinner. But if you can, go out and pick up something new. It's always great to add new stuff to your collection. Now this service was also great because it has a soup bowl and also this small nappy. And in my mind, I'm already seeing a wicked 50s breakfast as an afterthought. Now cutlery is of course always important. This is a very sleek service. Look at how tiny the tines are on these forks. It's a very slender pattern. And also the knives and spoons are equally unusual. It's not your standard fork, knife and spoon set. It's so 50s. Let me get this out of the way because it's that magic moment moment when we do a napkin fold. What I want to do now is something called a bishop's crown. So you begin with your napkin, open up a large napkin into a full square and fold it over just so that you've got a little bit of a peak so the points aren't completely touching. Next fold over the right side to the top like this and the other side here. So you'll notice that you've got one, two, three, four points. Go to the bottom of the napkin and fold up again just till you meet it and then fold it down. Now you're going to have to rewind and play this over and over till you get it right. Watch what happens as I turn it around and curve these ends. You'll be able to tuck this in and create something called a bishop's crown. Now, in the 1950s, believe me, if you went into a fancy restaurant or a hotel, this was the napkin fold. It's classic, and also notice that I've introduced a striking color of blue. Do you want to see what else I'm going to do with the blue? Look for the glassware, and I promise you a centerpiece that will speak volumes to this table. I really love this glassware, and as a matter of fact, I'm positive my mum had a set of it. And I've heard that this glassware was offered at the local gas station whenever you had your 57 Chevy filled up with a tank of gas. These small squat glasses are very attractive. They're a Russell Wright pattern, and I especially like the gold dots uh, complemented by the turquoise dots. I'm not sure what I'll serve yet as beverages, but boy, they'll be good. I can guarantee you that. These service pieces are totally cool, and I was especially attracted by the nifty design and also the unusual shape. So maybe some ketchup, mustard, and different condiments. After all, I have these pieces here, which I still haven't really discussed, but this attractive platter, this covered vegetable dish, you know what? I smell some meatloaf and mac and cheese coming right up.